what's motivation got to do with it? All right, that's, that's my question for today. And I get this a lot. And this might sound weird coming from a guy who is super positive and is attempting to be motivating all the damn time. Well, I, I don't understand what motivation has to do with it. I'm really motivated by my goals and the, and the way that it makes me feel when I achieve even just a small fraction of a victory on that goal. So the, I think that the way that you might, you might set your goals is part of the motivation that you need. And when you have a strong plan, you might not need motivation at all. But let's look at that. You, you, you have goals. Everybody's got goals. Goals, the way that I look at it, are your guiding light, your north star, something that you love, all right? That the, 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 there's something that you aim at consistently and constantly up there in the clouds, in the future. They're probably based on something that's internally motivated, that's selfish to, to your heart, to your mind, to things that you care about a lot. Those are, those are the most often the most powerful goals that you can find. Let's say, I'm going to use today's example as a goal of being fit. Having a fit body, a strong body. And this is a goal that I have. This is a, the genesis for my own personal physical goals. But you can apply this to anything, and we'll do a little, bit, a little bit of that in a minute. But for me, the reason why I picked having a strong body as a goal of mine is because I never felt strong when I was young. And when I was a kid, I struggled with feeling insignificant and feeling weak. I'm just going to tell you. And not, you know, I, I don't know if it was therapy or self-awareness, whatever it is, I figured that out. So strong is the way that I always wanted to feel. And that when I, you know, there's ways to measure that, and we'll get into metrics and progress later, but I always wanted to feel that way. So my goal is based on the way that I want to feel. And if you have that, the, the, you know, the guiding way, you know, feeling strong, having a strong body, that's the, you know, the strategy is to get to the, the, the strong body. The tactics, that's your road map. And once you have your goal, you just build out all your tactics. And we can go deeper, but, you know, for a body, make great food choices, eat frequently, train five days a week, hydration, supplements, coaching, progress checks, all of those things. Those are all just tactics. And if, if I'm trying to get to a strong body and I get stuck in a tactic and my knee hurts and I can't squat today, that's just one of the... 15 tactics that I have to get to where I want to go. And obviously I'm going to need to train, but I'm not stuck on one tactic or two tactics. I've, I've got a long-term vision and I don't need to be successful at every single one of these every single day to know that I'm always moving forward. And if you have a great goal, if you have a strong guiding light and you have a strong plan, a set of tactics, you have a lot. And you don't need to be motivated. If you already have the plan, you wake up and you don't feel like it, follow the plan. Wake up and you do feel like it, follow the plan. Wake up and something happened to your dog, follow the plan. Wake up and uh, uh, your, your house is being foreclosed on, follow the plan. You follow the plan no matter what's happening in your life. It takes the stress of choosing off. Now you don't have to decide what to do. You've already decided. You already have a goal, an internal compass pointing you up there. And then you have your, you have your, strategy, you have your tactics rather to get you there. You just follow the plan no matter what. And if you're trying to grow your business, you got to make your dials. You got to you got to get out and build relationships. You got to you know you know make your phone calls. You got to you got to present. You got to study your material. I mean, it's the same thing. Everybody has tactics that are going to lead them to their goal. And once you have all this really really clear, getting motivated is just a matter of looking at where you want to be and reminding yourself that that's how you, that's that, that's why you're doing it. That's all the motivation you need. And even if you're not motivated. I can still do one thing. I can still drink water. I can still take my fish oil. I can still, you know, YouTube uh, an exercise. Like, you don't have to be that motivated. And once you start doing one thing, it's easier to do the next and the next and the next. And then you've got a sense of momentum. So there you go. What, what does motivation have to do with it? Are you feeling motivated? I don't know. But I don't care. As long as you have a strong goal. All right. That's my take on motivation and how to get it. <laughs> If you have any questions, go ahead and give me a, uh, give me a shout on Facebook or uh, uh, via text. This is Coach Josh from Training for Warriors Portland, helping you bring out the warrior within.